Hi everybody, welcome to Day Z. Now, I thought I'd do a quick video about surviving the first hour in uh, Day Z. This is on the Cherneris map. This is a brand new spawn. Um, uh, this is a vanilla community server, or well, that's what it says anyway in the um, vanilla UK server. Uh, PV, PVP, only Northwest Airfield. Because unfortunately, I can't play PV. Um, can't go on the public servers because uh, I've got a character I don't want to get rid of. So here we go. So let's get started. So first off, let's um, just quickly put our rags on our quick menu and let's eat our plum. Now luckily we've um, spawned in next to Chernogorsk, but as you can see in the bottom right hand corner we're pretty cold, we're pretty hungry and we need to find some stuff straight away. So my priority is um, food, drink, clothes, bag, simple weapon, that sort of stuff. Um, I tell you, while we're near the beach, let's just have a quick quick walk along the beach. We don't really want to be running anywhere. Because we want to just be making sure there's none of those little boats. If you're ever somewhere where there's no um, boats, uh, sorry, where there's no towns or anything, keep running along the beach looking for the little boats because the little boats often have stuff in them that can help you survive. And then as soon as you see a town, head towards the town. Make a note of the name of the town um, as you go into it. Tracksuit jacket's probably better than the t-shirt I've got on. So let's put that on. Anything else? Steak knife, brilliant. So we've got a knife. As soon as you get that, put it on a quick so Right, we need to put I've left my bandages, let's quickly pick them up. Right, let's just make sure we've got our bandages on the quick menu. Good, good, good. So at least now we've got a weapon to take on. Any nasties. Now, this is an industrial area in Chernogorsk, so we're not going to find any food here. So we want to move on through. So going back to what I was saying earlier, so as soon as you find the town that you're in, you look on the Daisy uh, I Survive map, I Z U R V I V E, the online one, which you can download to your phone, or you can look at it on your laptop or your PC. Um, and if you know the town you're in, you can then look it up and then you can find out where the water pump is <laughs> then go and have a drink I'm just looking for some different shoes there's a helmet I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it because if it starts raining it'll keep me a little bit drier what I really want are some sh better shoes But all I'm doing is moving through this industrial area to get to the back in order to um, start looting the houses because my biggest priority at the moment is food and drink. Without food and drink pretty quick we're going to die. These little uh, sheds are can be good. You can find things like um, workmen's jackets, um, things like that in them. Don't need a headlight bulb. There we go. So there's a jumpsuit jacket. So that's probably warmer than the one we've got on. Let's craft some more rags. Okay, so they're dirty, so we need to be careful. If we use them, we're going to uh, get ill. Um, now we'll leave the burlap sack. That you can make a improvised uh, rucksack out of a burlap burlap sack. But to be honest, there's enough ordinary rucksacks around where you don't really need to bother. Right, let's dump the motorbike helmet because the hard hat <coughs> it's a little less threatening if we come across anybody 
Hiking pants, right, so they're probably better than the ones we've got on, maybe. And what I'm thinking about here is just not sprinting too fast, just keeping everything slow because I don't want to use too much energy. Um, so this is a guard house, right? So there, there'd be better trousers than the ones I've got on. So that's good. Let's see if we can make some clean rags. They're good, so they're clean. So let's get rid of the dirty ones so we don't accidentally use them. Okay, let's take stock of our position now. So we can go further into Cherno that way. We can go that way. I think we're going to go this way. Now, no matter how desperate you are in the early game, never drink water from places like this, or rivers, or water bottles that you find, or canteens that you find. The only place you can get clean water is from uh, the water pumps, or obviously if you find a you know a can of Pepsi or Kvass or something like that. You can fill your canteens and water bottles from rivers and lakes and things like that and ponds, but you must clean it with the chlorine tablets first before you drink it. You do not want to get cholera uh, this early game. So what I'm also looking for now is I'm looking around, looking at the trees, seeing if I can see any fruit trees. But these are just ordinary trees here. This is interesting actually, this um, war memorial. Don't think you can get inside that church. So we're on the south coast, so the sun rises in, s in these sets in the west. So if you look at your shadow, you know that the sun is in the west. So that means that it's going to get dark soon. Let's keep moving. Right, so now you can see some domestic houses that are coming up. So this is what we want now. <coughs> Normally, actually, in the towns, the domestic houses aren't actually that good. In fact, what we might do, we'll do this strip up here. And what I find is that when it comes to looting, try and be methodical. You know, do the do like a road at a time moving along. Okay, so what have we got here? Right, so we're lucky we could, there's a chicken, because we've got a knife, it means we can not only kill it, but we can we can quarter it. Where is he? There he is. some chicken steak and we're going to make a hook as well at the bones how, 
how's my knife doing? Right, my knife is damaged, so I'm not going to make another hook because I'm a bit worried my knife is going to break. But now, I mean, we're not hungry yet. We're not super hungry yet, so I'm not going to bother making a fire. What we are is thirsty. Right, so we've got some hiking boots. So let's have a look at our boots. How are our boots doing? So let's, get, let's have a look at these. The pristine, so let's put them on. Again, I'm not going to take the others as spares because I'm really trying to minimise the amount of weight I'm carrying. Because I don't want to be burning these calories. I want to be travelling light so I can max maximise my survival time. So again, we're looking at the trees, seeing if they're fruit trees, so it's worth having a look around, see if there's anything worth eating. My general um, strategy when you're a new spawn is you want to try and get enough stuff. So there's some trail shoes, I will take those because they're spares. Okay, we found a gun, so we'll definitely take that. To be honest, I'm not sure whether this server's working properly because we haven't come across any zombies yet. Okay, so, right. So it's good, we found a pepper. Let's just eat that straight away. That gives us a little bit more food, a little bit more hydration. And really, in these early parts of the game, that's all you're doing. You're going from food to food, you know? Right, so here we go. So we've got a drink. So let's drink this. So we're pretty lucky now. That's very good. You know, we've just had a little bit of something to eat. We've got some spikes. So now our character can probably stay alive for half an hour. Um, which just gives us that little bit of um, time. And if we find some gloves... Right, so zombies are here, so that is good. I don't particularly want to get into any fights at the moment. Let's just check see if there's any fruit on the floor. And now it's just a case of thinking, okay, so we really want another knife, we want a bag. We want those things that are just going to allow us to move inland, because that, that's what it's all about, it's about moving inland. The quicker you can move inland, when it's safe to do so when you've got enough uh, food in your belly, the, the better the loot will be. Obviously on public servers as well, well and private servers, they're busiest around the coast aren't they? So so that you're less likely to find stuff. Okay so there's so we've got a baseball bat for taking out. Now if you see my hands there, see they're covered in blood so that's why I've got to be f I should be very careful about preparing food and eating it and eating food with my hands. You know those chicken steaks? Um, so we've got various zombies around. Lots of zombies. Check him. Axe is uh, one of the best weapons for taking out zombies. What I'd really like for a coat would be something like um, the raincoat. Right, here we go. So now we've got dried plum, is it? Right, so that's good to eat. I am taking a little bit of a risk having dirty hands. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Right, this one is rotten, I think. Bloody hell. Uh, 
bandage up. Some more plums, wasn't there? I put it my now. That plum looks bad. That looks rotten. I think. Yeah. So we don't want to. We don't want to have a go. Do anything with that one. What you'll sometimes find is there. We go. So where there's one fruit, often there's more. Actually, that one's fine. Now that zombie has got. Just what we want, a backpack. Excellent. So now we've got a backpack. So eat the rest of that pair. So again we just you know like when you used to play the old driving games and you go through a checkpoint and it would give you another fifteen seconds and then another fifteen seconds, you know, as you go along. It's a bit like that in Daisy in the first um first few hours, you're literally just gaining yourself time. Alcoholic tincture. Disinfect. So you can use this stuff um, to disinfect things like um, your bandages to clean them. We've already looked in here, haven't we? Right, okay. And don't get Disheartened in Daisy. Right, see all these. See these are these are all fruit trees. These. If you die, because sometimes you'll just get a spawn where you know there's nothing you could do. You know, you maybe spawned a long way from a town or a village. All the little boats that you went to um, didn't have anything in, um, and it just didn't give you enough time. You didn't get get enough bonus time. You know, to do what you want to do, but Daisy is meant to be hard. You know, Dean Hall, the guy behind. Um, there we go. Look at this. We're doing all right now, aren't we? Behind um, Daisy, wanted it so that if you find a can of baked beans, you should be like, "Oh my God, this is amazing! <laughs> this made my day to find the baked beans." You may be wondering, well, Rob, if you're not starving, why do you keep? What's that there? Um, why do you keep eating everything? Because you want stuff, right, so, in your belly. You know, you don't want to be carrying food. Um, when those little icons in the bottom right corner get to the top, it doesn't mean you're full. There's a long way to go. You're only full when you get the little stomach icon appear. Now, so, so we've got a plastic bottle here. What we do is we take this to our hands, and then immediately we empty it. Because if, if we drink that water, it's probably bad, and we'll get ill. Glow sticks aren't particularly good for seeing anything at night. They're they're alright for if you're with friends so that you can see each other, but they don't. Tracksuit pants. Okay. See, so there's a pistol, but what I will take is I'll wear the boonie hat. Won't bother with the pistol. I'm not here for PVE. I'm here to survive. A wrench. I will take the wrench. Um, wrenches can be used to open uh, tin cans, as can screwdrivers. That way, because my remember my knife is damaged, so it's not going to last that much longer. There we go. I got fruit. So this pair, as you can see. Is, oh, it's dried. Okay, that's good. So we'll eat it because it's dry. If it was rotten, we wouldn't. But because it's dry, we will eat it. That's safe to eat. So we found sort of three or four pieces of fruit already, haven't we? And you've seen how they've made a big difference to my um, hydration and nutrition 
down in the bottom uh, right -hand corner and again that could be the difference between living and dining we've still got that those chicken breasts in my backpack what a campfire tripod um, they're nice they're not necessary though campfire tripods when you, when you make a fire out of some bark and some um, some sticks if you haven't got an axe you know you just use a long stick you put your meat on the stick and you can kind of roast it that way um, campfire tripods are nice and they look cool but um, they're not right what's that in there canned spaghetti okay so so we've got the canned spaghetti let's use the um, wrench to open it now you are going to lose some of the contents we use things like wrenches and screwdrivers and axes to open uh, cans but you know it's all about getting those calories inside your character Check in. Right, okay. I always like to check my quick menu just to make sure I haven't dropped like the baseball bat or uh, my bandages or anything. Now, see those high-rise buildings in the distance. I definitely wouldn't bother trying to um, loot those at all. They tend to have nothing in them. You're better off just going through these these sorts of houses. In fact, when you go into the towns as well, the cities, and there's the um, I've seen Cherno and Electro, um, in the bigger cities, there's the um, townhouses where the towns the houses are next to each other. I wouldn't bother with those either. I think you're much better off coming outside and doing these normal um, dwellings like you see here, the ones that look like sort of detached houses. Um, you've got more chance of finding stuff, and also lots of them have uh, fruit trees in the back garden so again so you know again it's that, that chance of finding an apple or a pear or a dry plum or chickens and things like that as well right so we've got some multivitamins now what's good about multivitamins is that you can actually do something which I would consider breaking the game to be honest um, I, I don't I don't completely agree with it but I'll show you what you can do if we take the multivitamins, how many have we got? So we've got nine of them. If we take one, so if you look in, see we've got that little pin, so that means our immune system is now high. We can now actually eat raw meat. With dirty hands as well. And I don't particularly like doing this because I think, in reality, taking multivitamins doesn't protect you <laughs> from from food poisoning or uh, cholera or anything like that. Um, but there we go. So we we've got even more calories inside us now. Our little um, food icons, uh, food and drink, have gone. You know, they're up to the top again. I'm not full. I'm a long way off full. Right, so we've got a secondary knife, so that's good, because our other knife was looking a little bit worse for wear, wasn't it? There's some slugs. What's the gun we've got, anyway? I haven't looked at it yet. That's the double barrel shotgun, isn't it? Oh, 762 by 39. Okay. Right, so now we've got a... Uh, road sign as well so if I didn't know we were in Cherno I could use this and look on the I survive map and you can type it in in Russian as well like M O N N and it'll it'll find it for you the English equivalent and you could be off So there were some dwellings across the road, across the river here, weren't they? 
In fact, what we can do is if we go down to the river, we can actually wash our hands. Okay, if we don't drink it. Okay, so now we've got clean hands. So if we were going to cook, if we did have any chicken left, and um, we were going to cook it, and um, we would now we have to do so safely. Now I'm being a little bit cavalier with my movement here as well. I'm not really being that careful because um, let's just get across this river. But obviously you do need to be careful and think about other survivors. When you when you were fresh spawn though, you don't really have anything on you, so you know the people who would barb wire up we don't need that. Who would come after you, you know what I mean? Scumbags, aren't they, really? check infected you never know when they'll have that extra little bit of food on them There's another water bowl, so again we just empty it straight away. So with two water bottles now, um, as soon as we find a water pump, we'll have the uh, ability to stay hydrated for, you know, a good few hours. You know, we can really hit hit the map, you know, and start heading to the to the north uh, northwest without having to worry about. Um, We'll take the rope because with the rope we can make a improvised fishing rod, and that way we can make fish. We can find fish. We can eat those. Give us protein. Yeah, I mean, because with with well with one water bottle that gives you enough bonus time, if you like, to be able to um, travel between any of the towns on Chernus, any of the villages. Um, I could add nails to this baseball bat to make it a little bit more uh, effective, but I'll be more likely to head on into uh, the Cherno itself and then uh, find the fire station and then find an axe. You find a fireman's axe in there, and then once you've got an axe, I mean the axe is my favourite zombie killing tool. You know, it's a one one shot kill to, to zombies. Alright, so let's quickly, I know it's getting very dark. Let's take that pair. Ooh. Is that zombie gone? This is where it gets dangerous now because you can't, like you on the screen, you probably can't see the zombies. But you can hear them. Here comes another one. Okay, let's check them for stuff. Okay, we I think we did pick up a good pair, didn't we? Let's have a look. Is it a good one? No, it looks a bit funny coloured. Rotten, right, drop that. Okay, we've got more zombies. Head up to these houses. I think this is rocks up here, actually. 
<laughs> it's really dark. You probably can't see anything on the screen. I can't really see much either. Okay, zombie ahead. Okay, so we've got some houses down here. Again, and these, these, this is the perfect place to, to be looting. You know, lots of little domestic properties where you can cover a lot of ground and hit a lot of houses in a fairly short period of time. It's a mob car. It's that, oh, that's a hat, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, I always check inside stuff as well. We'll check every shed. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is we're going to make a improvised torch. So we're going to need rags. So this is how you can um, find your way at night. So we've got some rags there. Oh, sorry. Take the rags. <laughs> There's a lot of water bottles on this server. Um, how many have we got now? Two. I suppose we should. We could take that one. Again, take it to your hands. Look down. Empty it. The difficult thing at night is that it's very easy to um, to lose your uh, sense of bearings. You know, you know wh which way you're f meant to be going. Um, without a torch, definitely. So there's a can of cola, we'll stick that in our backpack. We will just drink it when we get inside this house. Okay, you got something else. On the I don't think you can make rags out of a peat coat, can you? No. So let's drink that cola. Excellent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make that um, torch, I said. So what we need to do is to make a torch, we're going to need a uh, stick. Some uh, long stick or short sticks, and then we're going to need. We've got the rags already, and we're going to need some uh, bark. Now it's pitch pitch black for me now, so I need to be very careful as I move around. So I'm just waiting for the tool tip that says cut bush, cut off bark. All oh, right, cut off bark. So that's what we want. Don't need much. There we go. So there's our bark because we're going to make something called a wool wood drill as well, and the wood drill is going to be how we start the flame. So what we need now is a bush. I see that's a that's a tree that someone's cut down there. Zombies are around. Now, there happens to be a mushroom on the floor as well. Let's take a look at it. Oh, no, that definitely doesn't look the right colour, does it? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's equip our steak knife now. I think there's some bushes here. Looks like there is. Again, be very... 
Right, cut off bark. No, no, we want a bush. Cut off bark. There's all trees around here. So I fell off a ledge there and hurt myself. That's because I'm wandering around at night. Another zombie. Nothing on him, though. Right, there's got to be bushes up here. Right, these look like bushes. No, that's a tree. Oh, here we go. This is definitely a bush. Cut bush. Be careful if... Right, my knife just broke. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Now, you can use your hands, but be careful. If you're not wearing gloves, you, your hands will start to bleed. Yeah, you can't use a baseball bat. But we have, luckily, got a second knife. Right, we only need one stick, so we're not going to ruin our life. So what we do now, we put the stick in our hand, we combine it with the um, bark to craft, if press uh, right trigger, to craft a hand drill. Like so. And we see the hand drill up there, top left hand corner, so put that in, and then we take our stick and we combine that with our rags we can craft a torch that's it, so now we've got a torch see it there <laughs> now we combine that with our hand drill and we'll have the option to light it now torches, these torches don't last very long so I would recommend that once you've um, during the day you know you can make up a number of these torches um, when it goes out you can also add more um, bandages to them and then relight them but this gives you an excellent way of surviving and um, you know carrying on um, on a server especially servers that have darkness uh, like public servers and private servers that don't have short nights you know and enjoying the night time experience that is Daisy because it's you know it's totally different um, it's brilliant playing Daisy at night time there we go so we've got another cola um, and this is what I do I just I would just carry on looting being pretty methodical about it going from building to building just looking for those little pots of food you know, looking for that better jacket. Um, oh, look! Look what we found. So we've now found a hatchet. Hatchet, not as good as a um, axe for killing zombies, but um, for example, for making um, uh, fires, uh, so we can cook food much, much, much better. So there we go. I'll leave it here because um, let's have a look in our backpack. What have we got? We've got a can of coke. Um, we've got some duct tape which we can use to fix our shoes and our clothing 
Uh, we've got a ruin knife, which we should get rid of because we don't need that anymore. We've got some bark, so we can make another um, wood drill for making fire. We've got three empty water bottles, so all we've got to do is find the nearest water pump using I survive, and then we'll, we'll have enough water to, to go on adventures for several hours. Um, We've got a hatchet, we've got a hatchet for chopping wood, um, for making fires, we've got a baseball bat for taking out zombies, we've got some rope, um, so if we go to a big bush and cut down a big bush now, uh, we can make a improvised um, fishing rod, um, and then if we just dig up some worms with our knife, we can add them to the fishing hook, so then we can fish, and then we can cook the fish. <laughs> we've got multivitamins so we can take them so if it starts raining and we start getting cold you take the multivitamins and start getting um getting a fever and getting getting ill that way we've got bandages to uh, fix us so the next things really for me is just more food because although we've got plenty of fluids and the options to find plenty of foods we haven't haven't got much food um uh, i want to find that axe um a spade would be nice so that we could maybe plant the seeds if it was and we could water them um but i'm not that big into farming in daisy that often we've got some shotgun shells so a shotgun would be good but probably you know awesome shells for our rifle um compass would be nice as well a rain jacket and then really it's just about moving inland moving to, to i mean i'm at cherno so it'd be moving north and just looting more so finding a raincoat finding a bigger backpack and finding some better trousers um, the fireman's jackets and fireman's trousers are very good actually and the fireman's hat because they will keep you um, pretty much waterproof in and warm in any situation going to the nearest uh, little military uh, checkpoints and military tents and little airfields maybe to pick up a better weapon but be very careful on public servers with that sort of stuff because you know that's where people go to to look for fights to look for some player versus player action um yeah and then on on from there really just enjoying daisy now i know with this spawn i've been pretty lucky because we did spawn right next to cherno um i think it was cherno anyway um and you know we found quite a lot of food straight off where that's not often the case but again if you spawn on the beach keep running down the beach looking in the little um oh there goes our <laughs> there goes our torch looking in the little boats for the odd can of food or drink um and then as soon as you see a town or village you know head in and then just methodically loot every single house and again if it's a big city like Cherno or Electra or Severgrad you know don't loot those buildings that are all next to each other go to the the outskirts where the buildings are that are like this because you've got more chance of finding stuff don't eat with dirty hands um, unless you've got multivitamins and there we go hopefully that's useful what I'll try and do is every time I do a new spawn I'll do another version of one of these videos just so you can kind of get to know my thought processes about what I'm doing um, as I'm uh, as I'm running around and uh, surviving for the first hour in DayZ. Anyway, that's enough from me. Put your questions and comments down below, and I'll see you again soon.